if you've been following the coverage that, that we've been putting out since the start of, uh, of 2020 with, with, the, with the onset of COVID, uh, you know that we've been following the story very, very closely from the beginning, from just when the Chinese Communist Party started covering up what was happening in China, pus punishing whistleblowers, uh, putting them in jail, making sure nobody can ever talk about what was happening, um, hiding the uh, genome sequence, shutting down domestic flights while allowing international flights from Wuhan, essentially allowing the entire thing to spread. We've been following it ever since then. Now, just to pause here for a quick moment, I didn't mention this part while I was up on stage, but it's indeed the case that getting real COVID-related news or frankly, any kind of real news out of China is extremely difficult. What wound up happening was that the Chinese communist regime, they actually wound up arresting 11 of our contributors who were there on the ground in China, taking photos of what was really happening and sending them to us.